Hello guys, welcome to my channel, Random Mall Norm. And today, I uh, made a discovery. Now, I'm currently working on a quad show here. As you can see, it's quite tore up. And what I'm doing is uh, place rocks down in the water here. So my quad don't get stuck going through this area. So everything's all wet, it's all soft, because a lot of rain we'd be having. And I've been going through here quite a bit. Anyway, where I was getting the rocks to is quite interesting, because I had no idea what would be amongst these rocks until 10 minutes ago. And this is where I was uh, getting the rocks to, okay? Just looks like natural rocks in the woods here, because that's where I'm to, in the woods. And this is my trail, it goes on there. Anyway, when the rocks are hauled up, there appears to be porcelain amongst it. And on top of the old porcelain, look at that. There's pieces. And if you're detectors like me, if you find porcelain relics like this, that means, well, it's either you're on an old house site, or just some random trash dump. A very, very old trash dump. In the, in the woods here, there's, there's no indication really of any old house site here, at least until now, when I made this discovery of porcelain. So basically today, guys, uh, I'm gonna use my detector over there and probably extract some more rocks, which I actually need to do anyway for the hole over, over there, and see what else we can find. Hopefully there's some coins, some old arm relics, who knows, maybe it gives a general idea of what was here way back in the day. I am super excited. I got my uh, detector turned on now, and uh, basically what we're gonna do, we're just gonna swipe this this little rock pile here. Put it on, on no mode. Crank the sensitivity up a little bit. Let's see what happens. Oh, oh buddy. Yeah, there's, there, there's definitely stuff there. Oh man. <laughs> yeah, alright. There's definitely uh, iron stuff there. I mean, who knows, there might be something other than iron. Let's crank that discrimination off a bit. Yeah, so what I was detecting just then was it's definitely iron. It's not sounding off there now with discrimination on, so. Yeah. So, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna uproot some uh, rocks and stuff like that and see what else is kicking around down there besides porcelain. Maybe there's a complete plate or something <laughs> or whatever. I'm, I'm hoping there is because that would be so awesome to find. But I doubt it. But you just never know, right? Well guys, I got another uh, signal right next to that, uh, the dig site as I call it now. And it looks like I just found myself a, uh, a dog nail. Well, right in the middle of my quad trail. I ran over that on my quad. Never even knew it was there. Uh, this, is, this is amazing. Wow, look at that. So in order for me to uh, continue on this way, I had to move this log. Now this log's still my way, so what we're gonna do, we're going to take it and give it a toss. There we go. That should make things a bit better, I dare say. Uh, this is day two of my mill tent adventure. Um, uh, yeah, here's my, my quad. I decided to bring that. And, uh, well, went up there, put it in reverse, backed up. And uh, the mill tent got hooked up in this alder here. You can see the marks. And uh, the box, this part right here, broke right off the rest of the shaft. Uh, there was a clip here, and now this, this completely broke, so I can't attach it on. So there's no big deal. The, the box and everything still works. And I think I do have a replacement one that came with the machine here. So yeah, off to a great start today. Well, damn. Well, I haven't had much luck with this whole uh, trying to find anything halfway decent. This is my the hole that I've been digging, and well. 
I think I uh, found one dog nail right there and I, another spike. I don't, know, I don't even know why that's even here. Like, this is qu quite a distance away from, uh, well, civilization. Well, not really. It's, this place here is kind of surrounded by bogs, so you know, it makes you wonder why this is even here. So, yeah. Anyway, let's go continue my search, see what else I can find. There's lots of altars. I really don't like these kind of trees. Never did, never will. But anyway, without further ado, I'm going to uh, start detecting. I'm going to put this box right here in my pocket. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. And uh, I even brought my snips, so I might be able to cut some altars out of the way. This is quite dense in here, as you can see. After here is uh, too big to fit in my pockets. So I guess I'm going to have to carry it like this and uh, on the other hand hold on to the rest of the machine. <laughs> Got a signal right here, and I uh, got machine in the all metal mode again. And uh, yeah, there's this nerd hole. Yeah, I got it out. It's in that paw over here. Ground, and uh, in this ground, there's some more porcelain. Look at that. Really rough shape. Been there a long time. So. What's that orange signal that I'm getting? So we can find it. Uh, all right, guys, I found the, the target. It's right here. Look at that. What is this? It's like a two nails press welded together somehow. Well, I've never found a nail like this before. Wow. Jeez. That's a uh, quite interesting relic, I must say. Sounds like a little miniature walking cane. You know? <laughs> anyway, I'm gonna keep that. Because this place, I never expected to find anything here. Hmm. Seems to be a, uh, quite a loud iron target. Dig it up. See the target in the holder now. It's uh, quite a difficult thing to dig. Lots of rocks. Here it is. Ooh. It's another spike. Why are there spikes in the woods here? Were these loggers who dropped them? But then why did they have porcelain? It's very strange. Could be, still could be like an old shack site or something. Back in 100 and 40 years ago or something like that. Yeah, anyway, another spike to add to my collection. Uh, I actually like finding these things. A few signals right where my quad tracks are too, as you can see. And I uh, got a really shallow, large signal type of thing. And look, look what this showed up. Look at this thing. What is this? I've never found something like this before. That shape type of Whatever. Wow. So maybe there was loggers here. Over a century ago. Maybe. Huh. Well, this is definitely a keeper. Look at this thing. Wow. What is it? If you guys know what this is, let me know in the comments down below. Well, guys, I just found something else. I actually had to dig for it. Probably, uh, well, I did try digging here, but I've never seen anything, but I, just, I see it now. Look at this. It's a nurse spike. And it's crooked. <laughs> wow. A uh, pile of flat rocks here. We're in this sudden trail. And I decided to dig it up. The rocks were quite large, but they were flat and easy to handle. And look what it is. It's a nurse spike. Another spike. This one here is uh, got the head on it. And it's crooked. I don't know if they're intentionally made like that or not. It's quite interesting. Once again. Hmm. A 
that seems to be a pretty big signal. Ah, let's dig up, shall we? It's actually really thick there, but who knows, might be an axe head. The signal was uh, another spike, maybe. Huh. That's a bit different. Hey guys, I just uh, got a signal right up here. It's uh, actually a pile of rocks. Sorry for the shaking this up the camera, it's on a tripod. The tripod's kind of crap. Anyway, you hear that? Got the machine all metal mode, and uh, well, I'm gonna have to dig that up because I'm quite intrigued to what that is. As you see, there's an old tree there, and there's like rock pile going right around it, so uh, might be man made. Anyway, wait for ado. Let's dig it up. And it's definitely not what I expected. Alright, let's. There it is, right here. It's a, it's a modern penny. <laughs> and that's why it was uh, ringed up as uh, iron, right? Because there's a lot of, they put steel in pennies now. I don't know what year, probably 1990 something or whatever. It's not. All right guys, I'm back home now. Uh, here's my detector, I got the replacement part. See, it's just like new now. This is the old, the old uh, hanger, I guess. That's what it's called. <laughs> it's uh, yeah, that's broke beyond repair. That's literally garbage. Yep, yeah, detector's as good as new now. Anyway, stay tuned for the wrap up. Hey guys, this is the wrap up. As you see, I got my uh, my funds on the quad here. Anyway, let's just uh, start off with the porcelain pieces. They are quite interesting, but sadly, very, very broken. <laughs> just like that piece on my milk detector. Anyway, yeah, found these unexpectedly, and that's what made me uh, go to that location to milk detect. Thus, I found all this iron stuff. So my uh, guess is that it was a uh, a logging camp at one time, a long time ago. And I say it probably used these spikes for trees, I guess. Climb up trees, maybe. And saw them down. And this right here was probably used for rope, separated rope or something. I don't know. It's quite interesting, whatever it is. And yeah, there's how many spikes? I got the uh, six spikes. It's all quite interesting relics. There's a little baby spike here. Yeah, not a bad haul. Just, uh, unfortunately, no <laughs> non iron relics like coins or whatever. But I'll take it. I'm quite happy with what I found today. And it was quite a unexpected, well, uh, area. So it was written basically adjacent to my quad trail that I've been using for a while. And I had no clue. Anyway, I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, hit that like button. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe. And leave a comment down below. And I'll be seeing you guys in the next video. So long and have a great day. Woohoo!